<laughs> Ever since I dyed my hair pink, I've been getting a lot of questions asking what hair dye I use, how I dyed my hair, what my hair color was before, how I keep up with the color, like what products I use. I wanted to help you out for all the people who ask like what hair dye I use and all the other questions. I just wanted to answer them. I have talked about this before in a video, but I decided, you know, I'll just make one whole dedicated video. And my best friend Emily was like, yeah, just do it. So. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I actually, I get my hair done by somebody. I don't do it myself because I wasn't about to like burn all my hair off and I just was too scared of damaging my hair. And I was honestly too scared to dye my hair in the first place. It literally took me like three years to to do this and finally get up like the guts to do it. So before this, my natural hair color, it's, uh, it's this color that's up here, this lovely brown color. <laughs> yeah, my natural hair color is like a I don't want to say it's like a dirty blonde, like my hair used to be a lot blonder when I was younger, but it's it's just brown pretty much. I'd literally never done anything to my hair up until I dyed it pink. So when I bleached it, she only had to do one round of bleach. We didn't have to leave it on for honestly like that long, I don't think. My hair was just processing so fast in the bleach that it got to like this really white color. <laughs> it was so blonde. So I only had to bleach my hair once because I'd never done anything to my hair before. My hair lifted to like this white, color and like literally all I saw when I looked at my face was like eyebrows. Um, once I got it to that white color, we pretty much were able to get it to this like super pastel color that I wanted because I, I did not want like a magenta or a hot pink. I wanted the pastel pink. We dyed my hair pink and the first time we did it, we went for more, more vibrant pink, I guess if you will. And every single time she dyes my hair, she uses the Joico hair dye brand. I don't know where you can get that. I have honestly have no idea, but I haven't even looked into it. So I'm sure, I don't know if you can buy it just off like, I don't know. I don't know where she gets it, I didn't ask. But I just know that she uses the Joico hair brand. She uses blush, soft pink, and I believe rose. I'm pretty sure those are the three different shades that she mixes. And then she mixes those with like a lot of conditioner so we still kind of get that more pastel color even though she dyes it a lot more pink to begin with. That's what she uses to dye my hair. That's the hair dye that we use. Every single time we dye it, it is a little bit more vibrant than how I normally would have it. But I like it that way only because, you know, then my hair takes longer to fade. But I do also do stuff to keep it from fading so much. Joico hair dye brand, that's what she uses. I usually get my hair done every two-ish months and that's only because of my roots. I mean, my, my hair's been growing out for like, since when did I get my hair done? January and it's April. So my hair's been growing out for like four months and I still have this pink color in my hair after four months. I don't go and get my hair done every couple-ish months because of the hair color. Necessarily, I get it done because my roots just like bother me and I just don't like how it looks. This is definitely a lot more faded than I've had. It's still obviously pink, it's just a lot more faded than what my hair usually looks like. This is the shampoo that I use. When I wanted to dye my hair, I also wanted to get a pink shampoo because I kind of figured, you know, if I have like a pink shampoo or something to use, it will keep my hair from fading super quickly, which this does. This does a really good job of that. I know there's other like shampoos out there that you can use. I personally just haven't tried any other ones, so I'm not really sure how those work, how good they are, what color you get from that. I don't know. This is literally the only, only one I've ever used. And I've ordered it online from Amazon and I've also actually bought it in store. They were two different shades of pink. So I don't know if like the one I bought off Amazon wasn't the actual one or something. I mean, honestly, it didn't do anything bad to my hair, so I don't really know. But the thing with this shampoo, I use it, okay. I have so much to say, apparently. <laughs> Washing my hair, it's quite a process. It, it's a process. I do try to go at least at least four days without washing my hair, if not more. I'll do my hair in heatless curls or something like this. And then throughout the week, I'll like touch it up with like a, my straightener and I'll curl it or I'll put them in heatless curls again overnight just to like keep my hair styled. I use Batiste dry shampoo. I think Tropical is the best scent. Fresh is also pretty good, but Tropical, that one's my favorite. So that's what I used to keep up with my hair. When I wash my hair, I use freezing cold water. I'll be in the shower and I'll have obviously the hot water like to wash my body and everything. And then I'll like turn the shower to freezing cold and I'll like put my head back there just so like my hair gets wet and I'll turn the shower back to like hot, whatever. Um, <laughs> I only wash my hair in cold water. I will not wash it in hot water because that's also gonna get the color to fade. Thing about this shampoo, which kind of weirds me out, is that it doesn't get really like soapy unless you use like a lot. And I, I obviously try not to use that much because it is, how much is it? Let me tell you the price. The price varies online from anywhere from $20 to apparently Walmart sells it for 50. I think I usually pay $23 for it, but I could be completely wrong. Don't get it from Walmart because apparently it's $50. <laughs> but I feel like that's so expensive, but it is obviously it's more of an expensive shampoo, $20 for this tiny little bottle of shampoo. 
you know, I feel like that's kind of expensive. But when I wash my hair, like I said, it doesn't get really soapy. I feel like I'm not cleaning my hair unless my shampoo gets like soapy, you know what I'm saying? So I do try and mix it with cold water, get it soapy in my hands and then run it through my hair. Since my roots have grown out like a lot, like my roots are very grown out, I actually will take this shampoo and pretty much focus it on just like the area where my pink hair is and then I'll take normal shampoo and I'll just get on like the ends of my fingers and I'll wash my roots just to make sure because I don't know I feel like this doesn't do the best job of like cleaning your hair with this shampoo when you rinse it out and you first start using it it makes your hair texture like feel really weird in the shower I think it's a really drying shampoo so you want to make sure that you use a good conditioner with it to be honest with you I I'm not too particular with what conditioner I use. I kind of just use like whatever's in my shower. When I have this pink shampoo in my hair, I will let it sit at least like five minutes. I'll let my shampoo sit in my hair while I like shave my legs or something. Soak in and you know, like get the color still vibrant. I rinse it out with cold water, super cold water, like I said, and then I'll put in conditioner. So I only um, condition from like maybe ears down. And then I also let my conditioner sit in my hair for like five or so minutes as long as honestly I can let it sit in there <laughs> just because I don't want my hair to be damaged so I try and really like let my hair like soak up the conditioner and then once I get out of the shower I've also talked about these two products before if these products are really bad and you hate them sorry but like this is just honestly what I've been using I'm just here to try and tell you what I use so if you hate them I'm very sorry I've been using this combination since I was in middle school like I I don't know why I don't know, I like them, it works for me, it makes my hair feel soft. I'll brush through my hair and then I'll put in a like dime size amount of this first and then I'll work that in ends to maybe here. I don't bring these two products up very high at all. And I just brush it through and then I'll take a little bit of this, focus it on my ends and a little bit up and brush that through and like that's honestly what I do. Those are the only two products that I put in my hair because I don't really want to put like a ton of stuff in my hair. I'm not saying use these and take my advice but like this just is, just <laughs> I can't doubt. This is just what works for me. Personally, I've been doing a lot of heatless curls though because if I don't have to put heat on my hair like I'm not going to But I also like to try and style my hair in a way where I can make it last as long as I like possibly can I just try and like style my hair so I can do a lot of different things with it so I can Push out washing my hair as much as possible. My hair is looking a little dry. I use this coconut oil weightless mist spray I do not just like directly spray it onto my hair. I feel like that I feel like that would make my hair look greasy. So what I do is I just spray it a tiny amount, not a lot, into the palm of my hands, rub my hands together, and then I literally just focus that just on the ends of my hair. So if it's like day three and my hair is starting to lose its curl and I like how it's looking, I'll brush through my hair, put a little bit of this on my ends, and then put them in heatless curls again. Just so when I wake up in the morning, my hair looks a little bit better. I feel like that's the best way for me to do it is put some dry shampoo in, put a little bit of that on my ends, put my hair in some heatless curls, go to bed. I wake up and I'm like, oh, my hair can go a couple of days more without washing it. You know, it's fine. Anytime I get a question asking me what hair dye I use or the process or whatnot, I always answer back. I always try and answer back to the best of my ability. I'm not like a professional. I just let you know what my hairstylist does. I have had a couple of people ask me if they think their hair can get to this pastel color. Don't think you can get to this color unless you bleach it. Maybe if you have like super super blonde hair as it is, but if I were to dye my hair pink off my brunette hair, like it would not turn out like this like at all. You really need that like white hair color in order to get it this like pastel, but I get questions asking me how many times I had to bleach it only once. When I get my hair touched up, I don't know if anyone wants to know. All she does is put bleach on my roots. She does not re-bleach my entire head. Sometimes I'll get like, I don't know if you can tell in here. Oh yeah, you can tell on camera. Like I have more like orange patches, which I don't like that. She'll usually like put a little bit of bleach in those areas just to get that orange tone out of my hair. But for the most part, she doesn't bleach my whole head every single time I get my hair redone. It's just my roots. And then we'll just dye like the, my entire head and it's usually fine. As for the amount of time, I've also had that. The first time I got my hair, like the whole process, like took like six hours. I could be wrong, but I'm. It it took a very long time. My girl Alyssa, I love her. She she kills it every time. I really love her, and she yeah, she did my hair for like six hours, I think. When I get my hair like just touched up, it usually takes three hours, maybe. I think I once again I could be wrong, but she usually will also cut and style my hair as well because I usually get a trim. I don't get a trim actually every single time, but sorry, I'm like looking at my ends and like, I just need to get my hair done really badly. <laughs> I go about every like two-ish months, but I have pushed out longer. I have 
gone in sooner. It really just depends. And I think it just depends on personal preference. Like if you like your roots showing and you like that look, then there's no reason to go that often. It also depends on how fast your hair grows. I've only ever tried the pastel pink shampoo. I don't know about their other colors. I have no idea how well they work. I, I'm not sure I've, I've never tried them. Honestly, I just went off people's reviews. So thank you to anyone and to everyone who writes reviews because I find them very, very helpful. <laughs> I think that's about it for everything that I do for my hair. These are my go-to products that I use. And then these are my like, my hair needs to get washed but I'm not washing it yet products. I really hope that I answered them all. I really, I tried, I think I, I think I covered everything, but I'm sure I'm gonna watch this back and be like, um, girl, you didn't talk about this. If you have any more questions, please just let me know and I will definitely answer them for you. I'm really not a hair expert. I have no idea. This is just what I personally use and what I do for my hair. So if you have something better that you use, please feel free to like let anybody know. You know, my hair isn't really damaged. I don't feel like, obviously I had a little bit of damage. I bleached my hair. For the most part, I feel like my hair just feels pretty normal. Yeah, I don't feel like I damaged it that much by dyeing it pink or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.